There is never a day when this place is free with no action. Whether a working day or a weekend. Evidence to this is what we found on Saturday. Richard Nyakana was taking through a group of farmers on what is practiced here at Kana Farm. It is found at Rwenga Jusab County in the Toro district of Kabarole on the outskirts of Fort Potter City in western Uganda. From poultry to livestock all the way to vegetable growing. The end of the tour leads to this class work kind of training accompanied by question and answer sessions. This is something that happens here on a weekly basis. Over 50 farmers are often seeking knowledge. Those farmers who come from far, they contribute a fee. But those ones within, uh, it is like giving back to the community. These particular ones are led by Kagwire Erisa, the LC1 chairperson of Buavia village. The group is composed of farmers from Buavia and Munisha villages, both from Buavia parish in Irwengaju sub county. They are here to benchmark on what they can do to improve on their farming practices. All of us, we have agreed together that, that let us go and improve our homes and make what we have been, what we have learned from him. This is how important this one Ekamodo farm has turned out to be. But where did it start? How was the idea conceived? And what was it meant to address? <laughs> the year was 2008. An idea born out of motivation came to fruition. The President of the Republic of Uganda, General Yoweri Kagutam Seveni, was traversing the country preaching the gospel of wealth creation. Richard Nyakana was a young man then. He had just lost his parents, who left him with not much land for farming. But life had to go on, and then was the time to either embrace or detest the president's gospel. He opted for the former. And he demonstrated, I remember, during that time, that you can plant coffee one acre, you can plant fruits one acre, you can plant food for house, household one acre, and one acre you can plant pastures for cows. Today, it is work in progress, and there is no reason for any regrets. From 10 birds, the chicken multiplied to 50 within a short time, and now they are in their thousands. I mobilized some um, credit facility from a group, a farmer's group. I got a small credit, a loan of about $3 million that time, and uh, I took up the venture seriously. I concentrated on poultry. I procured the 200 birds, procured feeds when I got that small loan. And from two heifer cows in 2014 to eight in 2023 is equally no mini achievement. The president was saying, for one to survive very well, you must earn, you must have four sources of income. You must have money every day, 
You must have money every month. You must have income every season. And you must have income every end of year. So I looked at what I was doing. It was just one source of income. So in 2014, I said, no, let me add on the two cows. The, the diary picked seriously because now, right now, I have eight cows in the structure. I'm milking five cows out of the eight, and I'm able to sell 120 liters of milk from these five cows on a daily basis, every day. What would otherwise be a challenge of shortage of feeds? for both birds and livestock is no challenge. A feed production plant was successfully installed and is fully operational. Now we are able to process one ton of feeds every day. Those are 1,000 kilos. But uh, our daily intake is 650 kilos per day. So we are able to sell the balance to the farmers who have got poultry, who have got cows around. That is also an economic activity. All this happening on just a 1.2 acre farm land. What now remains is the quest for sustainability, a journey that has already begun. About 10 more acres of land have successfully been acquired. We are developing um, pastures right now. We are setting up sheds and all the calves which are sired by the mothers here, we are taking them to that site purely for breeding so that the farmers can get very good breeds from here, where, which we are sure of. The success on this farm is just but the perfect description of a journey of a thousand miles beginning with one step. From just 10 birds in 2008 to now over 8,000 chicken for both meat and eggs. And from two heifers in 2014 to now eight. All these have guaranteed that the set objectives of earning daily, monthly, seasonal and annual incomes are well achieved. Henry Okrut, UBC.